Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at how we install or how we set up Modblazer inside a Blazor server application. So first of all, let's go and create a new project. I'll just open Visual Studio 2022. Then we want to go and create a new project and we want to choose a Blazor server app. So we just say next and it really doesn't matter what we call the project. We can just call it Blazor app 5 and I'll say next. And in here, we want to use the .NET 6 framework. So let's say create. And the first thing we will do when we have our project, we want to go and right click the project name and go to manage NuGet packages. And then we want to say browse. And what you want to browse for is actually just modblazer. So just type modblazer and it will be this package that we're going to install. And we will just go and install the latest stable version. As long as you can see, if we use .NET 6, we should also use the newest 6 version here. So we will say install and I accept. So now when that is set up, we will go to the program.cs file because here at the top, we want to say using and then modblazer.services. And then we can also go and add the mod services. So the way we do that is by taking our builder and then say dot services and say dot add mod services. And that should actually be it for our program.cs file. So the next file we want to go and set up is inside our pages folder. It is the underscore layout.cshtml file. And from in here, you want to find the bootstrap CSS that we have in our project and just make a new line because it's here we're going to insert the CSS from Modblazer. So if we just go back to Mudblazer's website here, we can click on this getting started tab. And if we scroll down a bit, we will find this add font and style references. So you can come in here and you can just go, you can actually just click this to copy the text and we'll click and we'll go and insert it here. And if we just go back to the documentation here on how you set it up, we will also go and take this script because we need to put that in the same file. So let's just go and copy this text and down at the bottom underneath the blazer server.js here, we want to paste it in. So when that is pasted in, we are almost good to go, but we need to go into our shared folder also and into our main layout.razor file because from in here, we want to go and add these providers. So you can see we're actually going to add components and we want to go and copy this also. And let's just go and paste it in just beneath the page title. And now you can see we get these green underlines because it don't know what to do with it, but we can just say show potential fixes and say we want to add Modblazer to this page. So by doing that, we say using Modblazer and that will do so that this page know where to find these providers. So this is basically how we set it up. We can now go and test it to see if it works. So let's go to the index.razor file and let's just get rid of all this. And then let's try to go back to the Modblazer website. Let's go to the documentation here. And now to test it, we can actually just go and choose something that we want to insert. So let's try to take this grid. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see we, we can make this layout. So we can go and say show code. And this is the code for this layout. So also just gonna go and copy this and let's insert it to the project. And as you can see, again, we have these green underlines, but it's because we need to use Modblazer also in here. So just say using and then say Modblazer. We could also, before we test it, let's go and add some buttons. So in here, we can see that we have the Mod button. So again, let's just go and copy this. And let's insert it above our grid. So now we can go and test the application. And as we expected, we can now see that we have all the styling from Modblazer. And we were also able to use the grid. So that was basically how you set up Modblazer inside your Blazor server app. I hope you enjoyed this video and go and have a nice day. Bye.